goes like this. Now y'all can sit here, probably hate and start to mug me and look at me, homeboy, start to call me ugly. Come on, man, let me tell you my story. Be like Kanye West, tell you how I came to glory. They call me George, y'all about to get to know me. Struggling pain, y'all ain't never gotta show me. Now in life, I never take back any decision. I'm from a mission, got homies doing years in prison. If I could, I'd probably put down the drug and ask my mom for some simple love. But your boy born September 25th, 1989 And everyone told me I wasn't gonna shine Y'all can clown me, but I stay on my grind Cause Tupac is the reason I started a rhyme And in my life, I've always stayed dedicated So when I die, God, I hope I'm appreciated Papa told me one day I might die Some little bitch in 96 blasted me in my right eye But nah, damn, I'm not trying to be a thug I'm not Lil John, I'm not banging in the club So listen, I sit here and spit these flows Like Lily told me, it ain't about how you look, money, cash, and clothes but listen, sometimes life may seem kind of odd. So every night, hey, thanks to God. Yes, I learned a lot of lessons. Just like Usher, who you get my confessions. Like Biggie Small said, it was all a dream. Now I'm asking, can I make it happen like Dr. Luther King? Surprised I'm living at the age of 15. Shit, there's been a lot of shit a do my scene. Because this game is played dirty and this game's not played clean. People talk shit behind my back. So I express this shit when I start the rap. Listen, I got a little story. I Me, mean, I got some shit on my chest. Shit, I must confess. At times I feel hopeless. But mama told me, stick my head up because I'm going to be the dopest. I'm not fear no man but God. Give it up! Oh. George! I can't I can't I can't it! Yeah. I can't it! 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 I can not it 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 i can Latinos and Filipinos, the ones you always see struggle, the ones you always see hustle on market, they target us. They say we only good for making rap CDs, the ones who got STDs and always end up in the hospital. Daily checkup, no emergency. Yes, the emergency room, because I've seen young C's die too soon, not get a chance at this American dream, die before 18, have their mothers bury them in a hole, a hole full of dirt, because your dumbass wasn't thinking it did a white man's work. So, so sad. Imagine, focus, and listen. How would you feel if your mom was in that position where she had to say bye to a baby? This shit is fucking crazy how we listen to 50 Cent over comment. Some common sense will tell you that maybe small arguments turn into problems. Because sometimes we got no role models, so we decide to live life like Grand Theft Auto. Smoke blunts and drink beer bottles, pop bottles. And just because that kid is cool, he's wearing sneakers we all want to follow. My woman, my ladies, of, I'm, I know you're tired of this music, how we use it over and over every time. We bounce our heads to motherfuckers and say the name a million times. Mike Jones, Mike Jones, Mike Jones. No. We get hyphy and crunk to some punks talking about candies, closets, and laffy taffies. No one ever asks me how I feel. No offense, I mean, we go dumb, and the dumb thing is that we keep saying it dumb. Listen, focus, and imagine. Y'all probably like, that kid sound like a hypocrite. I ain't gonna lie, because sometimes I can really give a shit. Until I turn on channel 2 at 10, and I see on the news, it said, my friend died because he was wearing wrong colored shoes and got shot by the wrong dudes. And I start to think, me and him used to be cool. We used to be dogs. Shit, we played kickball and traded Pokemon cards. <laughs> and I never had a chance to say goodbye. Honestly, I'm not scared to die. I'm not afraid of death. It's who I leave behind and roast in my mind. Who's gonna take care of my mom when she's stressed? Who gonna take care of my little sis when she gets in a mess? Honestly, I always think of him. Look to your left and right. Go home tonight and tell him you love him. Cause sometimes you never get the chance. I'm so pissed. Dr. Martin Luther King didn't waste his fucking time for you to sit there, be ignorant, and grab a motherfucking arm, commit crime, and shoot your own motherfucking arm. I'm supposed to die tonight. That motherfucker wanna die, that's fine. <laughs> and to all my Latinos, 
to all my Latino folks, your parents didn't cross rivers, cross borders for your life to be over. Your parents didn't come here. Your parents didn't come here and work bullshit jobs for you to complain about how your life is hard. My Asian Pacific Islanders, your parents didn't come. Your parents didn't come across the globe, come fresh off the boat for you to sit there and smoke weed. Wasting your money for some bullshit trees you don't need. Your parents came for a better future, not for them dudes to be like, that kid is a loser and fail. I don't know if y'all understand me too well. Imagine if our leaders never made shit happen. We would be slaves, picking up grapes, picking up fruits, working in sweatshops and becoming prostitutes. I mean, we lucky for the option not to pick up cotton, but to learn. To whom this poem may concern, my last thought is, be happy for what you have because some kids don't have what you have. You can sit here and laugh and say, fuck that fat kid, kiss my ass. The truth is, I gave you my truth, and that's the truth.